Welcome back, people of the internet. My name is Ian Chikino, and today I'm going to cast a game for the SC or for the Go for SC2 tournament. And this is a best of three between our blue Zerg player Sin, and unless you can read this name, his name is Ace. He's a Protoss player. I've seen a couple of his replays been posted up recently, so I thought I would check him out. I'm very aware of how good Sin and Sin is as a Zerg player. I've taken a couple of build orders from him and used them in solo. So I'm kind of interested to see what he's going here. Looks like he went with that Overlord at 9 and then he's making uh, some more drones. So he's probably going to drone up to like 13 or 14 as usual. Unfortunately for Sin, he's going to see that he's going to have close spawn positions here with this Protoss player. The Protoss player is going for a 12 gateway, very standard. And we have a gas going up at 13 for Sin. We may see some early roaches due to the spawning location, or we may just see some uh, bane or uh, some speedlings. Just an early speed from that gas. <clears throat> so Ace scouting in all the wrong places. It's going to eventually find out that his opponent is over here. So three workers quickly put on gas and making some more drones. We'll see if he's going to decide to take an expo this game early or if he's just going to try and go for a one base with these close close positions. So here we have, we saw Ace go for two quick gateways. I don't know if he was planning to do this from the start, but after he scouted this last position, he put down another gateway because of the close spawning position. So this may just be a plan he's got. Ace maybe decides to go for two gateway if and only if he gets a close spawn position on this map. And that's uh, exactly what he's got right now. So he's about to hit that 100 gas there. So we're going to see some speed, be researched probably pretty soon. Yeah, he has the money. Looks like they had a pause there for a second. And he's going to build a Roach Warren. So there we have it. We have a Roach Warren. Also uh, aware of the close spawning positions and the double gateway. Roaches are definitely a, a better unit to fight off a good zealot push with Vin Lings. Especially if the ro if the zealots get on this ramp here, and you have to fight them. Uh, at this point, uh, the small choke points make make lings very inefficient. So let's see if he's going to be able to get these roaches out in time to deal with this uh, push that looks like it's going to be coming. He is getting gas, so <clears throat> he's going in all in with these zealots. He is planning to get a, a cybernetic score eventually. So we got four zealots pushing up the ramp here, and uh, for our zerg player, those roaches are finished and they are coming out. He has three roaches that'll be more than enough to deal with these three zealots. He's got a queen and some lings. <coughs> Doing some more larval injection there, and these roaches are about to come out. There are four zealots now. I think Ace is in a little bit of trouble right now. As soon as he sees those roaches come out, he was not aware of that roach one. So this is something new to him, and now uh, in full retreat. Sin is going to have map control. He's got this overload over here, so he's, he knows how many reinforcements are being built and how many are coming. Feeling a little threatened. Oh, there's that cybernetic score. Feeling a little threatened. He puts up a forge. I'm not sure if he's going to be using that to uh, enable him to just play some defense here with the photon cannon or if he's going to use that to fast expand. As he's seen, oh, actually, he walls it off completely with another gateway. So, feeling really scared right now. He is just throwing up a gateway to do a complete wall off and uh, these roaches are just going to try and do some damage and break through and kill this, this gateway and make a hole and just do a ton of damage. Uh, Ace really needs to throw down that photon cannon. You can see uh, Metabot Boost is upgrading in. 10 more links coming so this this wave of attack of Sin is definitely... Oh, it looks like he's turning around now. He was so close to taking that gateway down. Maybe he's going to use that overlord for spotting and take that gateway out from below. Oh, he does lose that overload. That is too bad. And we got some lings over here. <coughs> that gateway is so low. He can just run up there and kill it so fast. This photon paint is almost finished. There's one pylon powering all of those buildings. And falling back sin is... Uh, looks like he just wanted to keep the pressure on there. Make Ace sweat it a little bit. He's pulling back. He did his damage. And now he's going to take an expansion and maybe play it safe for a little bit. So he has not yet upgraded to Lair. We'll see how long he's going to go before he does it. He's going to have to put some units back on gas, so he's probably going to make a couple of lings, and then maybe he'll go hit again. Quite interested to see what he's going with here. So this is probably an attack upgrade. Yes, one attack upgrade. As everybody 
should know by now, Zealots with one attack upgrade will be able to two shot Lings as opposed to three shot, so that makes them extremely more efficient against Lings. So we have a lot of Lings coming out now, and uh, he has not put any units back on gas, so I wonder, he's not planning on making any more Roaches? Very interesting play from Sen here. Aware that there is no expansion, uh, he's going to get that Ling in that base. Actually, he won't be able to. He will die to there, but he does see another gateway being built. There's a push coming out right now. So, Sin is definitely in defensive mode right now. Let's keep this expansion up. He has a lot of Lings coming out. Tons of Lings. There's going to be way too many Lings here. They lose, oh, those elves don't have that upgrade. Oh, my gosh. That timing push. How close is that to being up finished? Oh, man. Sin is just going to town with all those Lings and those Roaches. He's got two still left, and those Lings are doing so much damage right now. And that, oh, that attack upgrade was just like... 10 15 seconds off that was a horrible mistake by ace now you can see he's up to like 700 resources he he isn't even chrono boosting his cybernetics core so that push that that sin turned around on there with those roaches that one basing roach play uh, with those lings definitely seem to put ace on tilt building up two more gateways finally getting warp gates finished he's got a lot of He's got a lot of energy saved up. He definitely needs to be chrono boosting these gateways, and maybe he'll go for one last hurrah. Sin has a large army right now. He's going to do a run in. Uh, Sentry's being warped in just for some defense at the moment. Sentries and Zealots are definitely a good combination, an army combination to deal with Lings. And right now, as he can see, Sin is going only Lings. He has not yet decided to get that upgrade into uh, a layer yet, but he's back on gas, so we'll probably see that come up very soon. Unless he's going to keep massing roaches. There it is. There's that upgrade. So we got a proxy pylon down here. We may see Ace go for some kind of type of uh, just gonna get past this army, just warp him in over here, and then take a uh, Sin by surprise. And if you can get a player out of position, oh, he's actually pushing him back. He may run by here and see this on accident. Oh, did he actually see that? <laughs> he did see that pylon. Will he notice that little red blip on his mini map? Oh, he does. He does. He does. So Ace inadvertently scaring Sin into his proxy pylon and then it looks like he's going to get flanked by some links here warping in some stalkers he's going to need all kinds of force fields to survive this force fielding completely around himself those links can do nothing right now and he actually fought that off that was very nice he's got five warp gates and a robotics facility he definitely can't support all of those buildings but he's got so much energy he just needs to be chrono boosting these warp gates and just try and he's really in trouble right now uh, he, he either needs to spend some money and expand or just go for an all-in right now. He's getting an immortal, so it looks like he's just going to go for an all-in one base play right now against, uh, against Sin. So there's drones being pulled, Ling's coming in the side. Force field doesn't seem to be too effective right there. Uh, more Zealots coming in from behind that, that one attack upgrade is finished by now. And it definitely looks like it's paying off. It's going to be close for Sin, but there's like five more units being researched, or not researched, being uh, built. So this is going to be very closer to see if Sin, Sin can hold off this aggression. If he can just fight off this last wave, I think he'll be in the clear for the rest of the game. There's one spine crawler. He needs to pull back to that spine crawler. And it looks like Ace is just waiting for some more Zelts. He's going to go for another attack here. He does have vision of all this with those creep tumors. It's very easy to forget sometimes that Zerg players do have vision of everywhere where they have creep. So we have another push coming in here. He, he does have one immortal to deal with those roaches. So he just needs to keep that immortal alive. That is priority number one. Very good force fields. And <coughs> his, those force fields are kind of being used against him right now. He runs through the force fields on the other side of these roaches. And these roaches are just now, we're picking off those few zealots in the front now. There's so many roaches. Oh, and then Jones are coming back in the play. This immortal's got seven kills already. He's going like crazy. Some nice micro right now. There's so many units using drones and roaches and links. They get a surround off. Ace's army is completely dwindling. Uh, worker count. Actually, Ace is ahead in workers right now by about uh, eight. But he still is only on one base. He's gonna have to get that expansion up. Sin playing completely aggressive now. Uh, this this immortal actually that immortal did die. This is the next immortal out. And he's gonna poke, focus fire on those weak roaches. You saw my. Shift Rally up commands their four roaches, but those links are focusing down that Immortal. They will drop him extremely quick. This has been an extremely close fight right now, and Ace is slowly warping in units. Not going for any more upgrades. Getting more sentries. 
So Sin is going to have to rebuild some spine crawlers. He does have the money. He could throw down two or three more spine crawlers just for some defense. Ace, there we go. Now he's doing some chrono boosting on those warp dates. He needs to, needs to run those things efficiently as, poss as possible. And he's going to need some more force fields here to deal with these slings, but it doesn't look like he's even going to need that. Those spine crawlers are not going to finish in time. This is looking very bad for Sin. Uh, he's got five roaches coming out, but oh, they just rally right in there. Oh, and Sin, GG's. So Ace wins this this uh, first game in a best of three for the Go4SE tournament. And I'm going to cast game number two next.